and welcome to part three, the final part of this series on butterfly. If you're new to butterfly, check out part one and part two of this series here on my channel to get you all caught up. And we're gonna cover the final part of butterfly, which is putting everything that we've learned together and start applying it and show you some tips and tricks on how to progress with your butterfly because butterfly requires a lot of stamina, requires a lot of power and a lot of patience because it's it's very difficult move to perform. When I do my butterfly, I kind of feel like I'm having a seizure, okay? <laughs> because it requires jolts and jolts of energy to perform the movement, all right? And those Olympic swimmers that you see, they, they spend thousands and thousands of hours training to do the butterfly, and so it makes it look so easy and effortless. But for us average, normal people, we don't have that much time. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how I do my butterfly, how I maintain it, how I incorporate it into my workout regimen, okay? So we've learned how to use the arms, we've learned how to use the legs, and we come out of the water, right? So let's put it all together. Our butterfly should be looking like this right now. So now we've got a pretty decent looking butterfly. There are two types of butterflies. One with the head out and one with the head in, okay? And when you see people doing a butterfly, they go from A to B. A to B. Butterfly A, butterfly B. Okay, so butterfly A is their head is out of the water. Like this. Butterfly B, your head is still in the water. If you're a beginner, I recommend sticking with butterfly A, okay? So every time you pull, your head comes out. So let me demonstrate butterfly A. My head comes out every time I pull. I recommend that you do the same, okay? Pull and come up for air every time, okay? Because you probably, you know, with your breaststroke background, you're probably used to popping your head out all the time, okay? So this will be normal for you with the butterfly, okay? Butterfly A. Butterfly B is a test of stamina, okay? So most competitive swimmers, they switch. They switch it, okay? So for example, when they, they do like a butterfly race, they go from butterfly A to butterfly B. A to B, A to B. And then that last few meters, they just start doing A, 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 A. Because, you know, they're, they're gassed out. Same with like front crawl. When you're doing the front crawl, you start off like one, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, breathe. But those last few meters, if you're in a race, we all know, we're, we're just gasping. So we're just like one, 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 right? We, our head comes out a lot more often. Same with butterfly. So, as a test of stamina, it's good to incorporate butterfly B into your regimen. When you get tired, just keep doing butterfly A, butterfly A, butterfly A. Let me demonstrate butterfly A and butterfly B combined, okay? So, this is what it's gonna look like. Butterfly A and Butterfly B together, it's a lot more taxing on the body, okay? And it's great for improving your stamina. So, do I recommend Butterfly B? Of course. Okay, that's the final stage to doing a traditional butterfly. But, if you find it too hard to do Butterfly B, then just stick with Butterfly A, okay? Just keep doing it. Coming up for air, okay? No shame in that. Advanced swimmers, if they see you doing only butterfly A, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna dock you some marks, okay? Like that's not how you do butterfly, okay? It's like, but who cares, okay? Do whatever you want. But I'm just telling you that butterfly A, butterfly B is recommended. Now, a tip to doing butterfly B 
I find is that you want to hunch your back and tuck your head down. Okay, so when I'm pulling with the butterfly, you notice that my shoulders are never straight aligned like this. My shoulders are always going forward and back, as far back as possible. Okay, so. All right, so make sure you get your shoulder range of motion as far back and far forward as possible as you do your butterfly pull. Okay, maximize that that grasp, okay? Okay, never do a butterfly like this. Okay, no. Back. Okay, just like a giant whip. Okay? That's one tip. Another tip for stamina, okay? So if you're new to butterfly, you're huffing and puffing, that's normal, okay? I I went through it, everybody goes through it. So here's what I recommend. When you are starting out with the butterfly, you got the motions down, I recommend that you incorporate it into your breast stroke. What I do is, I don't just go all out butterfly for 25 or 50 meters, okay, no, that's not a good way. <laughs> the best way is to ease into it, just like when you're accelerating with a car, okay? You don't go from 0 to 60, you go from like 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then you know, you accelerate to whatever speed you are at. Same with swimming. What I recommend is that you do your butterfly between breaststrokes. I do two, two breaststrokes, one butterfly. Two breaststroke, one butterfly. If it's too hard for you, then do three breaststroke, one butterfly. Or four stroke, four breaststroke, and one butterfly. It's up to you, okay? Do whatever you want. But it's good to just sneak that butterfly into your breaststroke if you're new to it or if you can't handle that kind of power required, okay? Believe me, butterfly is exhausting. So I think of it like this. If I'm on a treadmill, I'm not sprinting for one hour. Uh, no thanks. If I'm on a treadmill, I'm jogging, but I add spurts of sprinting into my workout during that one hour. That makes sense, doesn't it? Same with butterfly. Butterfly, think of it as your sprint and breaststroke as your jog. Light jogging with breaststroke and then spurts of sprinting with butterfly. So let me demonstrate right now what it looks like. Alright, so you can see me mixing it up, right? Two to three breaststrokes for every one butterfly. And I get a good workout out of it. If I were to do just breaststroke all the time, I would get hella bored, okay? It's a pretty boring stroke to be just doing it all the time. Okay, so mix it up. That's the spice of swimming, okay? Mixing breaststroke with front crawl or back crawl or butterfly, whatever you want, okay? To your heart's delight. Mix some combinations up. Okay, so breaststroke with the dolphin kick if you want. Breaststroke, breaststroke, butterfly. Breaststroke, 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 butterfly. Front crawl. Breaststroke, butterfly. I don't know. Any combination you want, okay? You don't have to just be automatic like a robot and do breaststroke for 50 meters or 100 meters. That's boring. The swimming pool is your treadmill and it's up to you how difficult you want to set it. Those are some points to keep in mind. Leave a comment down below, join my Facebook group if you want to learn more about swimming. Join the online course that I have for you, 7 Days Swim Yo. I'm going to be taking a break from making swimming videos for a while because it's winter time. So probably uh, come back when the weather's a little bit warmer. So in the meantime, you got a lot of homework to do. 
get started and find me on Facebook and uh, that's all I want to say for now. Okay, take care. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Oh, my God.